Resume boys and girls, so this video will show you how to release a claim card in Premiere Pro. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to create this number animation and this title animation and this cool year passing animation and this test animation and finally ink splash animation all in Premiere Pro. I will put a link in the description for all the images and elements which I used for this project. Also, I include the project file, so it's completely free. Yeah, so let's get into the video. So before that, consider subscribing, ladies and gentlemen, if you find this video useful. Also, like and share. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. First, go to new item, sequence, in settings, horizontal 920 and vertical 1080, press OK. First, I am going to add a background. Go to new item, color mat, select the color black, press OK. Now go to effects and add a ramp. Change the ramp shape to regular ramp. Change both colors to ash and light ash. Adjust the start of ramp and end of ramp. Also increase the ramp scatter. Now, select this type tool and add a test. Let me change the font type. I want to make this test center. Just go to window, essential graphics. Select the test. Under island and transform, select these two icons. Now, I want to add guidelines. If you don't have this ruler, just go to view and check show rulers and show guides. So now we are animating the number. Select the type tool, add a number 2, create a copy of the test layer by holding Alt key or Option key and drag it on top, change the number to 9. Create another copy of this test and change the number to 3. Add another copy and change the number to 0. Select all the numbers and nest it. Let me place this over here. Double close this in a sequence. Let me add a black video on bottom so that I can see the numbers. Go to new item, black video. Select the number 9. Set keyframe for position. Go keyframe over and position up. Now for the number 0. Set keyframe for position. Go keyframe over and position up. For the number 3, position on top, set key for number 2 position, go few frames forward and position down. As for the number 3, set key for position, go few frames forward and position down. After all that done, go back to main sequence, select the next layer. Under effect controls, under opacity, select the rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Yeah, so now we get our number animation. Finally, let me nest this nest sequence and this is layer. Go to effects and add drop shadow. Increase opacity to 100 and increase the value of softness. Also, I will set a keyframe for scale, go a few frames over and slightly increase the scale size. Now we are going to animate the second scene. Add this AI image in here. Go to effects and add tint. Change map Y to red. Now set keyframe for scale and increase the scale size. Also, I will set a keyframe for rotation and change the rotation value to minus 60. Let me go a few frames forward and change the rotation value to 0. Also, change the scale size to its original size. Select all keyframes and auto bezier. I want this character to glow and change the color to white. 
For doing this, use a paint tool and I'm going to create a shape like this. Make sure under shape, uncheck stroke, uncheck fill. Add drop shadow to this graphic layer. Change shadow color to white. Increase opacity and softness value. Now I'm going to add a test using type 2. Add drop shadow to this test layer. Change shadow color to white. Adjust the drop shadow values. Under the test layer, select this rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Place it all the way to the left. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few ways over and adjust the mask like this. So let me animate the test by setting keyframe for position at the beginning of the test layer. Go a few ways over and push it slightly down. Select both keyframes, Auto Bezier. As for this image, I will set a keyframe for position in here. Go few ways over and push it slightly up. This is more issue in here. Select the graphic layer. Set keyframe for position. Go few ways over and adjust the position like this. I will also set a keyframe for mask path. Go few ways over and adjust the mask path like this. And finally, I'm going to nest all the layers. So now we are animating the third scene. Let me add an image in here. And also add a ruler image on top. Go to effects and add tint. Change the map white to red. Now place this measurement layer on top. Add a grunge video overlay in middle of these two layers. Select this grunge video overlay under opacity. Change the blend mode to screen. Also add tint to this video overlay. Map black to and map white to black color. Decrease the amount of tint. Let me select this video overlay and background image. Nest it. Go to effects and add turbulent displays. Change the displacement to turbulent smoother. Set keyframe for size at the beginning. Change size value to 2. Go few frames over and change the size value to 8. Again go few frames over and change to 2. Again go few frames and change to 8. Copy all these keyframes, add go few frames forward and paste it. Now for the measurement image, set keyframe for position. Go few frames over and push it to the left. Create a copy of this measurement layer. Push it to the right. Set keyframe for position. Go a few frames over and adjust the push like this. Create another copy of this measurement layer. Set key from position over here. Go a few frames over and adjust the push like this. Now what I'm going to do is, select all the measurement layers and nest it.
Go to effect controls and opacity, select this rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Now we are going to add test. Create two copies of this test and place it like this. So I will set a keyframe for position for this test slot 2024. Go over here as a position like this. Do the same for the other three tests. As for the time period, I am going to animate only these four tests. So roll the test layer and nest it. Under opacity, select the rectangle mask tool. Create a shape like this. See now you get this type of animation. You can add more test layers if you want. I'm going to cut the number down sequence and line as sequence in here. Delete the remaining portions. Create a copy of these two down sequence and right click speed duration check reverse speed. Sell both layers and create copy and place it like this. After all that done, at the end, cut the layers in here. Right click, add frame hold. Extend these two layers a little bit. Now we are animating the fourth scene. First, go to new item, color mat, change color to black, go to effects and add RAM. Change start of color and end of color to ash. Now use the type tool and go to add some random test. Add a scalar position. Create two copies of this test layer. One test on top and another one on bottom. Nest all these test layers. Now go one frame or two frame forward and cut it using razor tool. Go to effects and add a horizontal flip to this nest layer. Go again one frame forward and cut it. Delete the horizontal flip. Again cut it, add horizontal flip. Do the same process again and again. Delete the armor portions. Go to new item, adjustment layer. Go to effects and allegation blur. Increase blurriness to 50. Using these guidelines, I will add lines around this test. Use the type tool, I'm going to add a test. Increase scale size to match the macro test. On a test layer, select the rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go fever and over as a mask path like this.
place this slider on top and set up the slider angle shape to create a shape like this. Change color to this ash color. Under shape, select this rectangle mask tool, set keyframe for mask path. Go for keyframes over and adjust the mask path like this. Go to effects and add grid to this adjustment layer. Change blend mode to overlay, add at this corner point. Delete the environment portions. Now we are going to animate the fifth scene. Add image into the timeline. Adding splash video on top. Add tint to this background image. Change map white to red. Add another image on top of this thing splash video. Go to effects and add trackman key to the sync splash video. Change the mat to video 3 and this is where the top image is placed. Change the mat alpha to mat luma. Ink splash is happening on this type frame. Yeah, so that's done. Now finally we are animating the last scene. Add this background video over here. Add turbulent displays in here. Set keyframe for size. Go keyframes over and increase the size value to 10. Go again keyframes over and change the size value to 2. Go again keyframes over and change the size value to 10. I will set a keyframe for scale. Go a few frames over and increase the scale size. Now let me add a black video on top. Go to effects and add a crop. Our effect controls change top value to 90 percentage. Create a copy of this black video. Change top value to 0 and bottom value to 90. Yeah, and that's the ladies and boys and girls. And here's another video how to release a clean car in Premiere Pro. Do check it out. If you want to know how to relate bar VFX, check out this video right here. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.